nursing pioneer Florence Nightingale once said, I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took any excuse. Her honest and hard working attitude lives on in modern British nursing. But sadly, a small minority are happy to take shocking shortcuts to cheat their way into getting a job. Next, we have the story of a nationwide scam. People using bogus qualifications to fake their way onto nursing courses taking places away from those who truly deserve them and taking £150,000 out of the NHS. The investigation kicks off in 2012 when local counter-fraud specialist Eleni Gill receives a call from Health Education England. They think they've spotted a scam. People applying for nursing courses submitting fake exam certificates. What was discovered was there were many files that had suspicious looking GCSE or O-level certificates suggesting that they fraudulently provided these certificates in order to get onto the course um, and gain access to this NHS money. Was this a deliberate fraud as a way of getting cash from the NHS? And just how widespread was the con? Eleni set out to examine all of the suspect's certificates. For this case, um, my team and I must have visited um, over a dozen universities nationally around the country. As Eleni begins collecting the evidence, she's shocked by the sheer amount of money the students are receiving. Most cases, an average of about 50k um, was obtained by each individual throughout the duration of studies. Eleni's investigations turn up an astonishing 21 certificates, which she thinks could be fraudulent. That's 21 people claiming NHS money who have no right to it. So she turns detective. How can she prove the certificates are fakes? I'm on my way to Cambridge International Examinations to meet with Mike Bowerman, who's an expert on fraudulent certificates, to get some information from him. Have a look at these. As part of the exam board that awards certificates, Mike and his team know better than anyone how to spot a fake. These certificates here look as if they've been laser printed, which is not a technology that was available, certainly to us, at the time of these examinations. And one certificate stands out for the wrong reasons. Look at that border. I've never seen that before. No. These documents are statements of results. Now, we have samples. None of the statements of results that we would issue to candidates would have this style of border. It's clearly a fake. Based on her bogus qualifications, the student got a place studying nursing at Anglia Ruskin University and received £12,000 in fees and bursaries. She never even completed the course. On the 24th of May 2016, the student appears at Cambridge Crown Court. She pleads guilty to five counts of fraud, is handed 200 hours of community service and ordered to pay back £1,000. But Eleni's only just begun. She's straight on to her next case, the certificate of Zimbabwean Olivia Mpofu, married name Tetana. The tuition fees paid by the NHS for her to study as a nurse were £50,000. So it's quite a large amount of money from the NHS. But does Tetana have the qualifications needed to lawfully receive £50,000 of NHS money? It's not long before Mike's eagle eye spots cracks in her certificate. We've got the historical record for the candidate's results for that year. What we're looking for is the centre number Z1235 and uh, the candidate number, which is candidate number 69. So by scanning through these records, we find candidate number 69. You can see on the main certificate the centre number for, this, for the particular school where this candidate supposedly took these exams is shown as Z1235. Well, that's OK. It's a genuine Zimbabwean centre. However, 
when we come across to the left hand side of the transcript we're shown a totally different name to the one that's printed on the certificate and we also have a totally different school to the one that's printed on the certificate so the only conclusion we can draw is that it was fraudulently produced the more mike inspects the certificate the dodgier it looks we can see that their original transcript this student took 10 subjects and we only have six showing on the certificate so that means uh, there's a problem Tetan is brought in for interview she admits she doesn't have the right qualifications to train to be a nurse and she spills the beans on how she got her fake certificate she did state that she was at a party um, and there was somebody there offering um, certificates to people for a fee. I think it was around £300. That was what was quite scary as to how easy it was um, for people to obtain these certificates if they want them. £300 for a fake certificate in return for £50,000 of NHS cash. The case against Tetina is prepared for her appearance at Luton Crown Court. But when the day arrives, she's nowhere to be seen. A warrant is put out for her arrest.